Hello guys, Mukas here. So today I want to talk about the new rocket launcher, the NSX Masamune. And like I said in my video in the 20 IDs, I was really hoping they will implement some kind of mana heavy turret for the heavy assault. A single rocket that you can guide from the hip. Because it's already amazingly fun with the mana heavy turret, but you have a limited angle and you are forced to stand still. So immediately when it came out I wanted to try it. So I grinded like 1000 certs very quickly. And now I tried it and it's uh, pretty interesting, but it's not really what I wanted. So this launcher has 4 rockets per magazine, and if you left click you're gonna shoot them all at once. It's like a shotgun mode with rockets, and it does quite a lot of damage if you land the 4 rockets, like the decimator. And with the right click you scope and you can guide the rockets. But with a lot of projectile drop, the gravity has a lot of effect on the projectiles. So I found that tracking targets and compensate for the drop is very hard to do at the same time. So this what got me m very disappointed is that uh, I was hoping for a skill weapon but you cannot really exploit your skill that much because you have to deal with the drop that's filled very random. Also with the scoping you have a much limited vision than when you use the mana heavy turret for example. So you cannot track targets moving very fast. But it's still a pretty interesting weapon, the fact that it has two fire modes is uh, what I found the most interesting. I already had some cool shots with the shotgun mode, but the guided mode is so hard to use that it's getting me frustrated. So I hope they'll change it, like remove the projectile drop, or improve the tracking of the rockets. So right now with the guided mode it's uh, very hard to land the four rockets. Usually it's like two or three, uh, to hit like the four rockets, like the targets they need to be very big or standing still. So you feel like you don't have a lot of ammo. You run out of ammo very fast and you, don't, you haven't dealt uh, that much damage. But it's still I think it's very interesting that they start adding weapons with new mechanics like that. I hope they'll add much more and especially like a, like a freaking mana heavy turret, please. The fact that you have very limited ammo with the heavy, you only have like 4 or 5 rockets. So usually you can only kill 1 or 2 vehicles at best. Compared to the engineer who has unlimited ammo and uh, better tracking. So what I found works the best with the Masamune in the Gaiden mode is to hit a bit uh, higher than the target and anticipate the projectile drop. So you don't have to compensate with tracking while the rockets are in the air. This is I think the best way to hit the four rockets. But still it only works with very big targets or uh, slow moving targets. So one last thing I really don't like about the Masamune is the reload. So you finish the reloading animation and still you cannot shoot, you have to wait a, uh, a fraction of a second more and it feels a bit frustrating. With the decimator the reload finish a bit before the reload animation. So there is a mini game where you can switch weapons before the animation ends to gain some time on your reload. And with the Masamune it's the opposite. The animation finishes before the real reload. <laughs> so that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed the clips. So let me know what you think about this weapon, do you like it or not? Did you manage to get some cool ESF kills tracking the target and stuff? That's really, really nice, I hope to see like some montage of uh, Masamune tracking kills. And that's it guys, please daybreak and we have a mana heavy turret for the heavy assault. That would be very cool. <laughs> so that's it guys, have a good day and I'll see you soon, bye bye guys.